Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Berlin. Today we're back on the bus. We're in, uh, well we're obviously in Berlin at Hauptbahnhof. We're going to be having a look at the brand new Route 123 which has just been released. I said just been released. It was the 30th of, uh, of August and I've still not yet uh, looked at that. Hang on, I'm, I'm opening the wrong door there. There we go, shut that one. Lovely. Uh, yeah, so we're in Berlin. Uh, the route 123 is quite a windy one actually, it's going to start down at Hauptbahnhof here, you can see the uh, the railway lines underneath there, lovely, uh, which appear to, is, oh no that's a car tunnel, Ugh. yeah of course it's a car tunnel, uh, so yeah, yeah, ignore me, I was going to say the railway lines connect up with that dual carriageway, how ridiculous, uh, but yes, uh, so we're going to be driving from Hauptbahnhof, we're going up here, uh, round through Stendele Strasse, and uh, then back onto the main road, uh, we're going up here, which is the way that the uh, the the T, not T one, the the Teagle bus, which whose name I can't remember. Uh, which, which one is it now? The, uh, the you'll know what I mean. TXL, that's the one. Uh, it comes up here, round again. I think that comes down there, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it goes a funny old way round, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, that comes up there, and then instead of going down there, we're gonna kind of come round, zigzag up and down. Uh, where we're going to finish at Mekeritzweissen. Now, the route is apparently one hour in length. Oh, hang on, what am I doing here? There we go, hold that to get the engine on. I know it's not the engine, is it? But, uh, right, 0944, get that on. Uh, we're on 123, tour 1. Lovely. Right, everybody on. We'll uh, we'll start with the, the front door, I think, F8. There we go, are we, uh, oh hang on, where are we? Right, we'll, we'll turn that round. The camera obviously moves, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, I think that we're just going to set off. No, we're not, we're going to uh, we're gonna open the doors. We're on the Isitaro purely and simply because uh, I had a look to see what bus runs this. It's usually run by Citaros, albeit the diesel variant. So, uh, yeah, I thought we'd pick this one because we don't have a diesel Citaro. And this is, as I say, I, I've said it once, I've said it, I'll, uh, I'll say it again. It is one of the nicest buses to drive on this game. I absolutely love driving this. I think it, uh, it behaves most like a bus out of all the buses that we currently have available. Now, uh, you're probably going to wonder, well, hang on a second, how much is this route going to cost, this update, uh, this DLC? It's not DLC. It's uh, it's a free update for the route. Oh, for the uh, for the game, sorry. There we go. Uh, oh, there's nobody to get off. Right, we'll, uh, we'll carry on then. What's the next stop? Come on, they should have added uh, functionality in so that, there you go, they're announcing it now, so that if there's nobody at the bus stop, uh, you won't have to stop and pick up. There we go, right, F8, get that door open. Now, there's nobody... Moin. Nobody waiting to get off, is there? We'll, uh, we'll have a little look there yet. Yeah, nobody waiting. Oh, hang on, there's a few waiting to get on, though. I nearly didn't pick them up. Moin. Hello, good morning. I say good morning, what time are we on? 11.19, yeah, it is the morning. Right, off we go. Now, yeah, it says that the uh, the run is about an hour in length. Now, I'm not going to be sticking to the timetable today. I'm just going to have a, a general drive just to see the route. Apparently, the Siemens Dam is, uh, is a particularly impressive part of this route, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. This is another route that goes to uh, areas of Berlin that I'm not too familiar with, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. You will notice, however... Uh, right, hang on. Uh, oh, there are people there. They're behind the bus stop. I mean, you could be stood a bit closer to the road so that I could uh, tell you what. Should we open the back doors as well and see if people get on there? Moin, ein Fahrschein bitte. Oh, ein Fahrschein. Berum uh, Widen. Of course, that's not German. That's me being ridiculous. There we go. Uh, 880. Yeah, lovely. Uh, right, cash. 120. Lovely. Hallo. Oh, what do you want now? Berlin AB, single ticket, cash. Lovely. Right, go and sit down, dear. Right, off we go. Of course, behaving like a tram, sounding like a tram even, not just behaving, because uh, obviously it is completely electric, this bus. It goes like uh, feces off a shovel. Look at that, and I particularly like that if you do, I mean we're going way too fast there, but if you uh, if you see with the braking now, 
I'm not moving my foot but you can see the braking gets less as you slow down. The same also happens with the acceleration. It really does seem to behave like an electric bus does, that as you get to speed it gives you less power. Right, are we, uh, yeah, we're all good there, everybody on. Moin. Kann ich bitte ein Ticket haben? Ticket. Right, hang on, Berlin Kann ich das mit Karte zahlen? You, you can, my dear, hang on. Is that because I've... There we go, right, we'll open the door again. Uh, hang on, right, Berlin AB, single ticket, yes, pay with card. There we go, right, shut that. Oh no, shut that door at the back, lovely. Right, off we go. Uh, yeah, so this is a free update. I was going to go on to that, wasn't I? It's a free update for the game already. I mean, I know it's early access. Oh, mind the bumps. It is early access, so you could say that we've technically not got the whole game just yet, but it's it's a nice welcome addition. If you actually look at the roadmap, there's quite a lot of exciting things. I realise I'm flying over those bumps. Uh, there's quite a lot of exciting things that's coming for this game. The, uh, the side of running your own company doesn't particularly appeal to me, it's not something that really bothers me. Um, but the, the AI buses, the AI trams, the, uh, you know, things like that, that's really, really, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Hello. Hello. Uh, doors are shutting. Hi. Right, off we go. Full steam ahead. Right, so we're going round to the left hand side now. And uh, keeping straight on, straight on. Right, I think we've got people waiting again, haven't we? It does seem that you get people every stop, which is sort of making me. Oh, hang on, no, nobody. Right, nobody at the back there waiting to get off. I was going to say you seem to have people waiting at every stop. So the first stop that I drove past and said there was nobody there, they were probably waiting behind the bus stop. But to be fair, there was nobody there, and no bus stop for them to hide behind. So uh, yeah. Right, keep going. I'll tell you what we will do when we get to... Uh, right, we're going to go outside there and I'm going to take a photograph whilst we are here because you know, you know full well I love a photograph uh, the, of the bus. Right, view. Oh, hang on. No, not that. No, no, no. Reset. Can we, can we zoom in a little bit? Look at that. That's... Uh, oh, beautiful. Can we just change the time of day ever so slightly? Maybe get a... Ooh, that's nice. Can we make it a bit... Oh, even better. I love playing around with the camera tools on this. Bit dark. Perhaps a, a little bit dark. Fantastic. There we go. And you can't actually... I love how you can't see the uh, the, the destination on the front. You might think, why on earth would you love the fact you can't see the destination? Well, because a lot of cameras don't actually capture the destinations on buses. You have to sort of do something to do with the shutter speed and capture rate and all that nonsense. Right, there's somebody waiting here. Uh, yeah, something to do with all that. So uh, it can be the case that you don't often... Uh, you don't get the destination. So I quite like that they've done that on the camera. Whether it was intentional or not intentional, I don't know. We are five minutes early now. I'm surprised that uh, that there's anyone waiting at all for this bus. But the German people are very organised, aren't they? As a general rule of thumb. Oh, there's someone getting off here. You can just see the. Uh, oh, hang on. You can see the orange indication there. That somebody wants to get off. There she goes. See you in a bit, love. Alright, we'll shut that door at the back. The woman's just got on there. So we're all good. All good. Right, okie dokie. On to the next stop. So obviously we've turned left and left again, so we should be heading south now. Or south-ish. I mean, I'm assuming that this is orientated to the north. Up here, I imagine it probably will be. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I mean, if where Hauptbahnhof is and Alexanderplatz, yeah, it's, it's probably to the north. So, we're uh, yeah, we're here. So, we'll be turning right in a little bit, back onto the main road. Uh, 
does seem a little bit weird sat here in complete silence, but obviously we are on uh, on an electric bus. Ah, so it's a race you want, sir. Well, I think if they scripted your performance correct, we're going to uh, we're going to knock spots off you. Oh, look at that! He didn't even know it's changed yet. We're away, we're absolutely away. Next stop, Tumstrasse Rattenhauer. Rattenauer. Rattenauer Strasse. Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Right, so round to the right. You will also notice I do have the uh, the. Oh, hang on. What's what's happening here? Oh, it's all dug up. Fair dues. Are we uh, anyone to get off? No, it appears not. Right, carry on. Oh, I like this. That all the roads dug up. That's fantastic. I really hope they have bikes into this. But I mean, you can see the bike lane here on the right hand side. Bikes are such a big part of Berlin. Berlin life in general. There's so many cyclists in Berlin, as you can see from all the uh, the bicycles there. Oh, hang on. There's nobody at that bus stop, so we'll carry on. Oh, brace. Whoop. Thud. <laughs> yeah, bikes are such a big part of Berlin and, uh, and a massive challenge for the bus drivers, you know, to be weaving in and out. To have bikes sort of whizzing all over the place. Anyone for this bus stop? No! Wow, it's a quiet route, is this? <laughs> Come on, please update. Because I didn't actually go through the bus stop. I just carried on up the main road. Come on, pick it up. Don't let me go back. I'm not going to go back, I'm going to continue on our route, but uh, we'll just end up with no announcements anymore. Come on, pick it up, we've gone past it. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there a way on here we could? That'd be quite good. What's that do? Oh, night mode, that's good. Right, off we go. Is that going to... Uh... Hmm. Have we got anybody waiting here? No, it would appear not. Right, now I don't... Oh, hang on, there we go. He's done it. It's done it, I think. Tumstrasse. It's gone orange, so hopefully... There definitely wasn't anyone there, so uh, right, we'll carry on. I know we should have waited for that white dot, but uh, oh, it's all gone to pieces now. I don't know what's happening. Rathaus Tiergarten. Oh, the uh, the Tiergarten Rathaus, which is of course the town hall. Wait, hang on. Red light. Let's. Uh... Right now, I can't actually see the red light. There we go. Oh, there's a chap waiting to cross the road. So it does pick it up. It just takes a minute to pick up that you've not stopped. Although, of course, the uh, the two yellow lights are dropping off or uh, are lit on the screen there. So, of course, we're going to be stopping at the next stop. We are running seven and a half minutes early. The reason that I'm, uh, I'm not sticking to the timetable today is simply because this route is an hour in length. Uh, so, whilst I'm not going to be absolutely caning it round to try and get it done quicker, uh, it's one of them, it's just too long, I think, to sit... You know, we'd be sat at bus stops for ages. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Gonna keep going. See as much of the uh, of the route, you know, as we can. And of course passengers are still probably gonna board, aren't they? Maybe that's the reason that there's nobody at any of these bus stops. It's simply because we're so early. I oh, know there's a couple here, that's good. There we go. We right, get them open. Where's me? Uh, there we go. Look in the mirror. Right, shut that back door. And shut the front door there. Lovely. Don't know what those white dots are in those mirrors. Nope, they appear to be stuck there though. I do like Berlin's road layout where you, you're sort of weaving, aren't you? All the time you sort of left, right, left, right through traffic.
<laughs> Ample man has, uh, has gone red. Right, off we go. Right, okie dokie, so we're gonna we're gonna just nip into this lane here. I think this is probably the lane to be in. I think it is. I'm not sure. I mean that says go straight on in that lane, but then again we could probably go straight on in this lane too. Right, off we go. Right, so we don't stop here. Turmstrasse Bessels Besselstrasse? Boisel? I'm not too sure. She did say it, didn't she? Oh, hang on. There we go. It's very bouncy, isn't it? The suspension on this. You find yourself sort of bouncing backwards and forwards. Right, where are we? Come on, let's have a bit of... Hey, off we go. It's quite quiet, isn't it? I have turned down the... Um, the amount of traffic, because I did find that it was a little bit unrealistic for Berlin. Berlin's not, uh, or when we've certainly been there, you don't s get like sort of bowled over with how much traffic there is. It does seem quite, quite quiet. But then again, I, I think we might have turned it down too much now, maybe. Oh, right, go on then. You Hi. just walk straight through the doors. Right, uh, I'm moment bitter. Right, door open. What do you want? An A, B, and a C. I do like the fact that the you know what ticket they buy corresponds with where you are. Like now they're buying A, Bs, and Cs because she clearly wants to travel out of the A and the B zone. I like that. I've got a lot of time for that. Whereas before they were only wanting to go to the A and B, so they only bought A and B tickets. I think that's fantastic. Same as when you're out in the C zone, they'll only buy A, B, and Cs or B and Cs. They won't buy As and Bs. That sounds like such a simple thing. And some of you watching will probably be like, I don't really get what you're going on about with A, B and C tickets. But uh, if you have a look on the map, it probably nah, it doesn't show you actually. But obviously, like London Underground, for example, zone A is in the middle, then zone B is a bit further out. Zone B is everywhere within the ring barn, I think, or is it zone A? Zone A is like the central bit. You get what I mean. And uh, C is the very outskirts uh, of that. But uh, right, hang on, get that shut. Oh, hang on. Oh, right, so if you shut the doors... Oh, no, hang on, he's boarding, right. We'll, we'll let him on, seeing as we're early. Yes, yeah, so it's quite nice that the, the game pays attention to what tickets would be sold where, so you're always selling the correct ticket. It took me a while to, to say what I was thinking there, but you, yeah, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just nice little features, little details, that, that just make games like this for me. Right, we're going straight on in uh, the bus lane. The Brussel Grill. Oh, there's an S-Bahn off uh, there, Brusselstrasse. I wonder if we'll see an S-Bahn. Is the one there? Let's uh, let's see. Oh no, it doesn't appear there is. That's disappointing. I love seeing the S-Bahns on this. Right, full steam ahead. I think the, uh, the the TXL comes down here, doesn't it? I think it does, anyway. It's a while, doesn't it, these lights? I love how they've got the uh, the City Driver advert up on the right-hand side there. That's new. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, it's, uh, it's old City Driver, isn't it? I, uh, it had the potential to be a really, really good game. It's just a shame that, uh, that it there didn't really seem a lot to keep you coming back and playing it, did that You know, you could drive a car. If you can drive a car in real life, I'd, I'd probably just go out and drive my car, you know what I mean? It, it sort of seemed a bit pointless. 
But then again, you can probably argue that bus simulator games are a bit pointless. All you do is drive backwards and forwards. It's just the enjoyment of the driving. So, yeah, I, I get where you were coming from if you argued that. Right, off we go. Going to beat the taxi. Full steam ahead. Straight into the, uh, the lane there. It really is quite quick, this thing. When it wants to be. When you put your foot down and it... Whoa, hey, off we go. Yeah, really, really is quite quick. Oh, phone's going off. That's a firm bus sound effect if ever I've heard it. I like the uh, the road signs above the traffic lights. It's it's like there's they're almost like tram signs, aren't they? Like that must mean something. I'm sure that some very helpful person in the comments will probably tell me what it means. But yeah, like that yellow and white diamond. Right, nobody getting on there, so we'll carry on past. Ah, yeah, this is familiar. TXL definitely comes up here, doesn't it? Quite good actually, because that doesn't stop at most of the stops down here, if, uh, if memory serves me right. So this is obviously the route that, that does come down here and stop at all those stops that the TXL doesn't. Oh, passengers to uh, a light as well here. So we'll uh, remember to open the back doors, there we go, right. Whereabouts are we then? Oh my lord, we've made some excellent progress, we're all the way up here. Since when was that a thing? Oh yeah, because the TXL carries on straight on and turns right, doesn't it? Right, so this is all new round here. So when we when we make our next left turn, it's all brand new. Exciting times, people. Right, people have finished getting off. And finished getting on. Right, away we go. Tell you what I'm going to do, just so that we see a few more cars... I'm going to, uh, right, hang on, where are we? Gameplay, that'll be it. Vehicle, AI, traffic density. We'll just turn that up to 70. There we go. Pedestrian density, I think, is enough. It is for this part of town. I think with the traffic density, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, like, it seems like the central traffic and the outskirts doesn't seem to sort of... You know, if you have it too high, then the outside of town traffic will be just right, and inside of town will be just mental. Whereas if you turn it down, the inside the city centre traffic will be acceptable, and then when you get out here, there's just nobody about. You know, it, it sort of seems like that way. You know, it doesn't balance correctly. Right, there we go. Off you get. Oh, there's a car in the uh, in the mirror there. Be careful not to hit him. Right, we'll pull out. Off we go. What on earth is this? Right, Friedrich Olbrecht Dam, Saatwinkler, Saatwinkler Dam. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What a name for a bus stop. Zartwinkler Dam. Oh, they have some fantastic names for bus stops, don't they? I do love Germany. We're on about going back at Christmas. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have the, uh, the financial uh, ability to be able to do so, but I'd absolutely love to. Honestly, we, we do go every year for Christmas, so I should have made that priority, to be honest with you, but yeah, I'm, I'm sort of a little bit worried that we might not get to go this year. And Berlin is my favourite place on earth, it really is. I love Berlin. There's a lot of people that don't really understand why I love Berlin. There's um, a couple of German people that watch the channel. Hello, if, uh, if you are here watching. Uh, that really can't understand everyone's fascination with Berlin but I think I just love the public transport I really do love the public transport I've got a lot of happy memories as well I think when you've got happy memories of a place it's uh, I think it sort of strengthens that emotional connection doesn't it but yeah I'd be absolutely gutted if we couldn't go back this year 
there's nothing better than the Berlin Christmas markets when it's all dark and cosy and lovely. It's just wonderful. Right, oh hang on, we're going to miss a stop at this rate. Right, off you get, whoever rung the bell. Let me guess, did I not stop in... Oh no, no, oh she's off. God, it's bus simulator 20. Oh, she's... She's, <laughs> she's gone to the heavens. I didn't think my driving was that bad. Right, off we go. Carrying on. We are nearly ten minutes early. Just goes to show how much padding is uh, is built into these timetables, doesn't it? Friedrich Olbrichtam, Heckerdam. Heckerdam. Right, we'll uh, round to the right there, take extra care when turning. Right, we'll, uh, yeah, good, good, good. Moin. Hello. Right, away we go. Look at that, perfect, perfect. actually making really good progress on this, aren't we? I, I think this is a perfectly pleasant route. I think as well, I've always enjoyed driving more sort of rural routes, you know, where the, it's less city orientated. I think this route 123 has got the perfect balance, to be honest with you, because now we're, we're very much out in the sticks, aren't we? Uh, right, hang on. Right, there we go, she's off. What are you waiting for? There we go, right, door clearance off, and away we go. Listen to that, God, it shifts this thing, doesn't it? I mean, I know that we are speeding. We're not going to get any, uh, any points there for sensible driving. Go. Doors enabled, we'll open the front door so that uh, Mr. Mang can get on. Zad Winkler Dam Mekeritz Weissen. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a left coming up. I've lost my bearings, I don't really know where I am now. Gludenfahrt. Right, that's... Right, so this is sort of the main road that we're on. I imagine that that brings you out somewhere around here? Maybe? I don't know. So we're going to go left, right, right. Oh, this looks interesting around here. It's almost like you go onto a sort of motorway, isn't it? I don't know what this red is. But yeah, you, you look like you go onto a motorway and then off. That's very interesting. Right, hang on. Wee, right, round to the left. Right, nobody's getting on or off, so we'll continue. <laughs> oh, somebody, uh, somebody getting off. Nobody getting on. Right. Door clearance enabled, so we'll let them do their thing. It's a while for the door clearance to, uh, to to sort of function, doesn't it? I always thought it was a bit quicker than that, but never mind. So we're out in the uh, in the heart of West Berlin now, aren't we? You can tell the architecture between East Berlin and West Berlin is very very different. One of the massively noticeable things is uh, West Berlin doesn't have a lot of trams at all. Uh, back in the day, when, uh, when it was East and West Berlin, obviously the motor bus in the West was a very, very uh, sort of heavily modern technology, wasn't it? So uh, yeah, they ripped up a lot of their tram lines in West Berlin. Morning. Obviously in the East of Berlin, with it being uh, the, the communist section, 
the uh, the, the Russian uh, were obviously I, d I don't know what the correct word is because it's I wouldn't say it was occupying because occupying implies like when when Germany was occupying France you know it, it's sort of the, the Cold War time and it's it, you've got to be very careful what you say because you don't want to offend everybody do you uh, but yeah it, it's obviously Berlin was split into different areas we'll call them camps there you go that that sounds good doesn't it they were split into different camps and uh, and obviously East Berlin was was Russia or the USSR's camp the Soviet Union and uh, yeah, they uh, they kept their trams, so it's quite nice because you get an eclectic mix of public transport. It, it, it's probably one of the many reasons. I mean, I know that the Cold War is not something we wish to revisit. And, I mean, let's face it, the, the way that things are going at the minute, it sort of feels like we are, doesn't it? But uh, but yeah, it really did for Berlin give such a rich sort of diversity of, of public transport. <laughs> So we'll look at it as every cloud and a silver lining and all that jazz. Right, so this is our sort of motorway. Oh, we, we really are getting our foot down here. Oh, of course, they built a flipping bus stop. Right on the slip road. What are you doing? What a thing to build. Right, there we go. Have we got people getting on the front of the bus? Yes, we have. Someone else? Yeah, lovely. Oh, sorry, madam. Oh, I've just slammed the door in your face. Right, go on then. On you get. Oh, we even get a bus lane then. Oh, I'll, I'll forgive them for the bus stop. If they're going to give us a bus lane. Right, this is really the opportunity to get our foot down, isn't it? Oh, hang on, we need to turn left. I'm assuming I have to, yeah, because we don't stop here. Oh yeah, look at that, I love the motorway. Yeah, we don't seem to have bus only traffic lights, do we? So I'll, I'll place myself here, in the left hand lane. So this is this main road that we're back on now, possibly? Yeah, I think it is. Wiltlinger Brücke. Which of course is is bridge. Brücke is uh, is bridge. The ambient sounds are fantastic, aren't they? Come on then. Ooh, round we go. <coughs> it's a good job we're not on the eclipse there. The back end swings right out on the eclipse. We'd have probably taken someone else out. Someone in traffic out with the uh, the back end of our bus there. This is a little bit shorter, isn't it? I love the uh, I love how you can see the cooling fans that are going. Look at that on the uh, the electric motors there. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's me? Oh, why is my... Oh, hang on, the steering wheel appears to be completely upside down. What's happened there, then? That's bizarre. Right, why Why all of a sudden has, have I got a massive dead zone on my steering wheel? Never noticed that before, but it appears that the steering wheel's decided it's... Oh, hang on. Oh, because I've mouse steering. Right. Hang on. What's happened there, then? Right, it appears to be back now. Yeah, I forget that you can you can press like the middle mouse button and it sets mouse steering on. That is a very annoying feature. Sorry about that, everybody. It's took me lied. Hi. Hello. Right, off we go. I was going to say I thought when we were driving round, it wasn't. Uh, the steering wasn't doing that with the uh, with the, the random dead zone that's appeared, but no. Obviously, as per usual, it was all me that caused it. Right, round we go. Oop, nobody to uh, to get on or off, so we'll carry on. Oh, I can't 
I mean, I'm not going to repeat what that sounds like, because uh, YouTube will, uh, will shout at me. Darendorf Sailor. Righty oh, carrying on down here. Oh, somebody to get off, let's not forget that. You don't seem to get like a little bell, do you? Like a little ding. Or maybe the sound's just playing out of my right headphone, because uh, I'm sat here, I record all my videos with my left headphone on. And obviously it's a headset, but the right one is sort of tucked behind my ear so that I can Hi. hear myself talking, you know, so I'm, so I'm not bellowing into the uh, into the microphone. Right, hang on, what's this? An A, B ticket? I thought we were out of the B zone, never mind. Hmm, given I don't really know my zones that well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, my dear, but make sure you have it right for next time. Single ticket. Oh, he's paying cash, of course he's paying cash. Right, Zvansish uh, since. Right, off we go. Twelve minutes early, that's ridiculous. Just goes to show, doesn't it, as I say, uh, quite how much padding goes into these timetables to keep us on time. Hello. Right, off we go. Go, someone else to pick up already. Right, okay. Nobody to drop off first. We'll just open the front doors. Did they get on? Don't know. Right, well, we shut the doors. I didn't see them get on, did you? Oh, I'm lost again in all the turning left and right. I don't really know where we are. <laughs> Schweigerweg. I've not seen Siemens Dam yet. It said that that was meant to be quite impressive. Is the is there a bus stop called Siemens Dam? Should we have a look at the map? Where are we? Oh right, so we're here. Uh Goebel Platz Siemens Dam. Right, there we go. So Siemens Dam is quite impressive according to this. There we go, right. People getting on. What well, person getting on? Goebbelplatz. Goebbelplatz. Right, here we go. Somebody else to get on. Right, there we go. Let me get my dear. Hello, guten tag. Nothing. Not even so much as an how do you do. Gah. Yeah, this is one of these. I have absolutely no idea. Like, if, if somebody dumped me here, like, you know, blindfolded, thrown in the back of a van and just dumped me here, I'd have absolutely no idea. And just said, walk back to the centre of Berlin. I'd have absolutely no idea how to get there. I mean, obviously, you'd have a vague idea because you can usually see the TV tower from most areas in Berlin. So, providing that these apartments and, and buildings aren't too high, you might Hello? be able to see the TV Moin. tower. And if you could, then obviously... Uh, <laughs> then obviously I'd be able to manage, but yeah, with no reference at all, I just, I wouldn't have a clue where I was, I wouldn't know any of the reference points. Obviously you could get the bus, couldn't you? If it said Hauptbahn up that way, I could, I could follow that. But yeah, apart from that, I've not got an awful, uh, an awful lot of knowledge about here. Siemens Dam, right, okay. So this is... Somewhere impressive? I, I don't know. I mean, it seems like an area with lots of shops. It seems like a little centre of some sort, doesn't it? A 
everyone's scratching their heads wondering why the bus is uh, 13 minutes early at this point. Right, off we go. So it seems like we're going onto a main road of some sort, doesn't it? Some sort of monument as well, that's quite nice. We go. Change for a bit of uh, a bit of indicating to the right. Right, away we go. So round and uh, yeah, we'll we'll get our foot down. It's it's big, wide open road, isn't it? Who? Kelvig. Right, hang on, because I don't actually know. There we go, right, we can see the traffic lights now. I was going to say, I've got absolutely no idea what that's meant to be uh, or where the traffic lights are, because we can't see them. We couldn't see that one over there either, because of mirrors and stuff in the way. I thought mirrors were meant to help you see better. But on the bus, they seem to just sort of make everything worse sometimes. Right, here we go. I guess the thing as well is in real life, like when I'm driving the bus in real life, I could I could lean back and, and see round the mirror, whereas on this you can't, can you, without adjusting all your seating position. That, that's when it gets a little bit complicated, isn't it? Hello! Nothing. God, they're very rude today, are they? It's only the odd one that says hello. Right, are we, uh, you're not letting me out, are you? No, the, the traffic's not very nice to you on this. You have to sort of have your wits about you. Now, is this a parked vehicle? Right, it's indicated, so he mustn't be parked. I was going to say, if he's parked, I don't want to pull him behind him and, <laughs> and sit there. I've done that before when I had my orange mini. Uh, there was a line of cars, and I thought that they were waiting to turn left, so I pulled him behind them, and uh, the other half at the time was sat there like, what are you doing? So I'm turning left. And he was like, oh yeah, that, 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 they, these are parked vehicles. And I was like, oh yeah, of course, because a car like four or five in front of me was actually facing the wrong way. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, it wouldn't be the first time it had happened. It's easy done. It's easy done. During the day, when nobody's got their headlights on or anything, you just see a line of cars that look like they might be turning left. I obviously didn't see the one that was facing the other way. Right, round to the right, carrying on. Oh, hang on, this is us. Somebody to get off, of course. We'll, uh, we'll stop there. Doors are opening. Doors are shutting. There we go. Lovely and straightforward. I, I like a straightforward bus stop. Nothing too taxing, nothing too complicated. Oh, I like this. Is this some sort of S-Van station above? We've got some coaches there. Or a coach. Holiday Inn. I love it. Oh, it sounds like an ambulance. Is there a hospital nearby, I wonder? A, uh, a Krankenhaus? That takes you back to Onzi, doesn't it? Krankenhaus? On the uh, on the old Grundorf map. Why is everyone walking round the bus Hello. stop? And then through my bus? <laughs> have you all done for uh, for vandalism? Or damage to the uh, damage to the vehicle? Kottgenstrasse. Here we go. This is another really busy road. Quite a few getting on and off. Moin. Oh, I take it hello. Uh, right, hang on. Berlin AB. 
Ein fart. There we go. Or ein mal even. There we go. Right. There we go. Door clearance is off, and away we go. I guess it's one of those routes, isn't it? It's a pretty non-event sort of route. There's nothing particularly, like, exciting to see. Like, the 100, you go through some very, very, like, touristy areas. It is the main tourist bus line, isn't it? Apart from, obviously, you've got the uh, the, the routes, the, the open-top bus, obviously. But, yeah, for BVG, or BVG, uh, the, uh, the public transport line, that's, like, their main sort of tourist bus-style line. So yeah, compared to that, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot to get excited about, but uh, but it's certainly an enjoyable drive. God, did we really need two bus stops there? They're close enough to each other. Right, doors are opening. Come on, you two. Why don't you stand by the bus stop and then you won't have to walk as far? I think that man's waiting by the back door, but uh, yeah, you can't get on there, sir. There's no entry signs if you look. I don't care what you've been told by other bus drivers, unfortunately. This is my bus and we run it my way. Right, off we go. Ooh, this is very, uh, very scenic, isn't it? Very rural. It's probably another thing that I love about Berlin, to say it's a massive city. At the same time, there's a lot of greenery. There's a hell of a lot of greenery. But Zartwinkledam 137. 137. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 137. 136. Or 37 even. It's not 136. Right, hang on. I'm not exactly showing off my fantastic German skills, am I, by getting the numbers wrong? Come on, one to ten, that's some of the Morning. basics. Oh, Mikkeritzbrucke. That's our final stop, isn't it? I think. Is that where we're going? I mean, it's not, because obviously we go around to the right. It does seem a bit of an odd route, doesn't it? Like, it just sort of terminates not really near anything. There's a lot of people getting on. Should be drop off only. That bus stops only around the corner for goodness sake. Are you actually buying a single ticket? Unbelievable. Oh, there we go. Yes, you can pay. Don't mind you paying at all. I think perhaps you should just walk it because it's only around the corner, but there we go. <laughs> And the fact of the matter is that they were going to wait. I mean, this bus is 13 minutes early now, so they were going to stand there for 13 minutes. They could be there by then, for goodness sake. Right, we're going to pull in front of this chap. Oh, wow, this is narrow. Ooh, pretty. Lovely. Is that the spree? Ooh, I'll tell you what I am going to do while we're driving over there, is I am going to press escape, bump up the curb, annoyingly, so that we will be up the curb in the photo. Oh, you, you can't do that, surely. But it's so pretty. What about the, the time of day? Let's just... Oh, that's nice. Bit of, bit of flair there. That's lovely. I'm having that. Hopefully, nobody will notice that you're up the curb. Apart from the fact that while she did all that... We're narrating it the whole time. Oh, we get a nice little turning circle as well. That's fantastic. Right, well, there we go. We are uh, we are just over 10 minutes early, so do uh, do forgive me for that. And we're up the curb again, for goodness sake. Uh, yeah, please do let me know in the comments what you think to that. I think that's absolutely fantastic. The bus is one of these games that just keeps getting better and better. Oh, there we go, right. Oh, betrebs fat, of course, return journey. Uh, or end journey, sorry.
like it's going back to the depot. But yeah, do let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please, please, please help the channel out. Click that like button, it's always appreciated. And if you haven't already and you want to see more of this, or indeed any simulation game in general, uh, we do most of them on this channel, uh, then please do, of course, uh, consider subscribing so you never miss out on any exciting bus simulation action. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.